So what I'm presenting here is the evolution of these paintings since the year 2007 to uh, this year. It's a group that has been consistent, like around 20 participants, and they have been taking ayahuasca during six years, one weekend per, uh, what do you call, season. There is a spring ceremony, summer, autumn, and winter ceremony. Um, so I'm going to start presenting the paintings. Um, it's somewhere in the Alps. Yeah. So. So. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, then the, the images are not so good. So. So this is the first painting uh, in 2007. Okay. And you can see there is it's a bit disconnection, you know, it's like a bit chaotic. We start seeing this vine or string patterns that appear there, an animal shape like a fish, and radiating, radiating uh, circles. Um, this is the, the first starting painting of this person. He's a yoga teacher in his 30s. And this is the next, uh, the next year. You can see there is like an evolution. There is still this pattern, like a vine or, or a snake, but it's more coherent, it occupies all the space. And the title of this is, Oh, All This Is Happening, Gratefulness. So it's a depiction of all the different phases of, of the experience. Uh, here he's doing yoga at the beginning. There he's listening to music, maybe some synesthesia, this cross of sensory perception when he can touch music or see music. Then. Here is a moment of doubt, uh, confusion. There, there is a contact with the plants, meditation with the heart radiating, dancing, mm, some sort of spiritual uh, attainment. So this same person, one year later, you can see the, the, the evolution. The, uh, the colors are much more expressive, the movement as well, the movement. The string vine movement is there, um, but you can see it has some sort. The creativity has uh, been unblocked. Yeah, so you can see on the left side of the painting warm colors with many things happening, lots of uh, dynamic, lots of energy, sound, action, and going towards the right part. Non-action, silence, cold color, and you can see this. This is like the Zen symbol. It's the Enso. It's called. It, uh, it represents absolute or enlightenment, calm. One year later, the same person, he focused on this Enso symbol. The title is Calm Abiding in the Midst of Turmoil. One thing that we have been seeing in the group is that the way of working with ayahuasca is uh, experiencing all the neurotic uh, contents of the mind amplified by ayahuasca, especially on the first stages, and learning how to find a point of stillness, a point of calm in the middle of these, of these chaos. And we have found that this is, the, this is the teaching, and it's a teaching that can be applied in everyday life, in challenging situations, where we can uh, use this practice that we have learned to find our inner, inner core. There is calm there. So, one year later, you can see it's the same, the same uh, progression from uh, confusion. Here he writes form, suffering, Besh, I don't know what's that, structure, darkness, control, going to free flow, ecstasy, true power, improvisation, light, letting go, and stillness in the middle. The training is basically to keep still in the middle of chaos. These are towards the last, the last paintings. He plays the didgeridoo, this person, during the rituals. And you can see that there is still like a vine uh, uh, form. It, it's a didgeridoo. I, I think that you can see the power of this image compared with the, with the first one. So mm -hmm. the first one is, is here. And uh, down the didgeridoo, another German word, it's breath. You know, it's, the message of this is this person has connected with the power of the breath, the power being represented by the fire, like exploding from, from the middle. 
And the breath in shamanic traditions is considered as the vehicle of the power of the shamans. The shamans cure by soplar, las sopladas, or by the icaros, by the, by the songs. Also, the breath in many languages is the same word as spirit, like in ancient Greek, pneuma. And this is the last painting, a nice Shiva Nataraj. So it, it's a dance, and you can see you know, that there is this full spectrum of of, of colors, uh, we, can, we can deduce that there has been an integration process in these six years from the first painting to the, to the last painting. So this is the, the first participant, then we go to another person, we go back to 2007, and we see the first drawings, no me molesten, no quiero que me duele, it means don't bother me, I don't want it to hurt. You see like a mother figure, a balloon, test situation and a mother and child. So as you could see, it's quite childish, quite disconnected between. There is not a lot of expressive resources. The next year, it, it progresses. You know, it's called exhaustion or the piles of bones. What we have noticed is that the first uh, ayahuasca experience, usually what comes out are difficult, difficult content, emotional content. It's like the metaphor of a garden hose that has been uh, unused for a long time. When you start flowing water out of it, what the beginning, what comes out is dirt. And it takes a bit of time until the clear water can come out. With this work, it's the same. When we start this work, what first comes out is the, the psychic sludge. You know? So we need to persevere until we, we can get to, to clarity. So here you can see the death. Uh, death uh, motive, the death experience is very common as well in ayahuasca, especially with high dosage, and there is a connection of all the loved ones, the, the connection with the, with the relationships, and this is another common theme with ayahuasca, learning to recognize and appreciate the, the family relationship or the loving relationship, you know? and very often it's through death, through experience like a simulacrum of death, and then we say goodbye to our dear ones and we really can feel how much they matter uh, for us. It's a way ayahuasca has of teaching us how the importance of loving relationships. So you can see there is an evolution. This person is learning how to stand in the, in, in the, in the middle of turmoil, acceptance. The turmoil is represented by this kind of gray and chaotic sludge around the mind and inside of the heart. And you can see acceptance like a center line, center uh, light line that makes possible to stand in the middle of all these uh, mind manifestations. Then this one is a year later, you can see much more light. Serve yourself and the rest will follow. That is the main teaching. It helps a lot to write down a main teaching so we don't forget what ayahuasca has told us. So you can see this you know, radiating is like a mandala, it's a flower, but it's like a radiating, radiating center or radiating sun as well, yellow. This, it's a powerful color. This is, uh, we actually work in yurts in the, in the mountains, so this is a, a representation of the yurt. So there is a fire inside, the title is Step Back and Receive, and you can see the interplay between the outside that is gray and stormy, and the inside of the yurt, you can see the figure of the group, fire in the middle, we have a candle, so representing the warmth and the protection that, that is bestowed by the group. The group and the, the, the setting, circular setting, uh, creates a safe space for exploring the darkest side of our psyche. This is an evolution of this subject, is the yurt as a pressure cooker. So one part of the ayahuasca work really is pushing the temperature up, not pushing the and uh, there is constriction until there is a moment when there is like uh, unblockage and that's the healing process. Here it's represented by black clouds that become white and that you know, expand in the, in the sky. And you have a central heart sun figure representing the opening of the heart and the releasing of, of power. Uh, one of the main teachings of ayahuasca is how to unblock our, our heart and unblock 
our power and the blockages usually are fears. So first ayahuasca shows us our fears, it, it helps, it teaches by terrorizing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then, but then you can get out of it. That's, that's the process. So this is a representation of a difficult experience, like feeling, being aware of a like ocean of love, and you can see also the, the typical vine structures around, but feeling disconnected from it, feeling somehow uh, not in, in contact. And this is the way that ayahuasca has for, for teaching. It first emphasizes the disconnection so we can really become aware of it and learn how to reconnect again. It's like Gurdjieff said, first you need for re being released, you need first to recognize you are in a prison. You're not in a prison, you cannot do this, this step of deliverance. Thoughts make the stars less bright. I, I love this, this kind of teaching. Is uh, <laughs> We are in a place, this is a representation of where we work. It's a yurt in the Alps mountains, so there is a fantastic starry sky. But if you are thinking too much, the, the stars are not so beautiful because there is like energy wasted on, on thinking. So you can see this part of the painting, this person with, uh, it looks like vegetal tentacles doing some healing. And there on the right, uh, a heart that is obscured by a cobweb. You know. So it's the same process, is learning what is obscuring the power, what is closing the heart, so that gives an opportunity for releasing it. That's the teaching process. And the two, I really love these two final, this is this uh, last year. You can see the, I think this is a very good representation of what an ayahuasca, ceremony, proper ayahuasca ceremony experience is. It's like you are really in a tight rope over an ocean of chaos that you can fall down at any moment. But if you keep the intention clear, connection with the heart, you can see in the figure there is like a center in, in the heart, you can st stand in the light. No? You can stand in this. If you remember the first drawing, compare it with this one, the expressive capacities have been released. No? So usually the tight rope is, is music uh, and the group. It's like following the music makes able to navigate into this uh, realm. And the last painting of this person, uh, she's, she's also a, a teacher in her 30s as a woman. Uh, that's a beautiful one as well. Trust in my own power. You can see the heart center really big, very red. You can see the, also the technique is very expressive. It's, it's uh, you know, this person hasn't received any, any academic teachings on how to paint. She started, you have seen the, the first painting six years ago. This is one way of, of showing how ayahuasca can help cr expression and creativity. Yeah. It's like this is, I mean, it's not super te technique, but it, it can, it has some energy, this, this painting. And also the message, trust in my own power. You know, this person feels much more empowered than when she be began the therapeutic process. And that is what it's about. So another person. This is uh, a, woman, a woman in her 50s, another teacher. So here you can see resistance, pain, hurt, you know, black, jagged, uh, you know, motives. It, it's a representation of uh, disease, of, of you know, what I said before. The first experiences usually are quite challenging. But you can see already here consciousness is like more light colors and more round shapes. So it gives an idea of a more peaceful state, but they are still on the, on the, you know, around, but not in the central stage. So the evolution of this painting is this one, where you can see here this jack, red, black, uh, red-eyed devils. This kind of represents fear, difficult emotions, and here this non-resistance <laughs> represented by this flow of light, light colors. So this is basically the interplay. This person is learning how to navigate the, the ayahuasca realm. You know, she's learning how to develop non-resistance and flowing with what is happening. And this is a very, very valuable uh, resource that we can bring in our everyday lives as well. It's, it doesn't only work in ayahuasca sessions. Outside of the ayahuasca sessions, it also works. And here, well, no, it's a radiating sun. It could be, you know, you say it was like an oval being fecundated as well. You can have many, 
but you can feel the, the, the energy of this painting. It's a radiating sun, lots of energy. It's like a mandala shape. You can see that it it kind of represents a more whole, wholesome state of being. You know? That doesn't mean that once that you start having good experiences, then the challenging experiences disappear. They come back. But what changes is the way we re relate to them. You know, that there can be very difficult experience coming back, but with a practice, every time they, we can navigate them more, you know, smiling even. You know. So here is the wall. Fear freezes feelings, frozen feelings are building the wall. So it's a contact with what is blocking. And this gives, as I say, a chance of unblocking. The touch of stillness. This is a very zen painting, you know, like very simple, like uh, orange, orange color, round shapes. So it, it gives this idea of flowing, of like a drop. It's like uh, the other polarity of the previous painting. This you can see as a consciousness, like a ray of consciousness penetrating in the darkness of the subconscious. You know? And some ayahuasca ceremony seems like that, that we really get into the depths of, of our subconscious. As some works have said here, it's an alchemic process. Jung says that we don't uh, evolve by just looking at the light, we evolve by integrating our shadow. So this is a representation of this process. You know, radiating sun, the other, the other polarity. We're getting towards the end of the, the process. Another radiating sun. This, you can see this left part jacked, uh, confused, and flowing, flowing uh, part on the right. Healing. You can see these motifs like plants, vines, fire, warm colors. Here we are in full psychedelic. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and this is the last one. I really love it. You can see the heart there. It looks like uh, Van Gogh on ayahuasca. It's <laughs> very, you know, a lot of expression and a lot of power. You can see that there is. It's a good representation how a person can feel after the, after the process. So we are going to the next participant. This is the first one, possessed. Very often the first experience is uh, lived as a possession. You can feel the ayahuasca inside, getting into our consciousness, and if we are not ready, it really feels like an uh, exorcism, like, uh, no, the opposite, a possession. You know, like, there is this, instead of a relation of working together, it's a relation of fighting it. I say, no, 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 I don't want you inside of my psyche, but then it's too late because you have Trump. <laughs> so, <laughs> This is the representation of the hand, like playing and possessing the, the, poor, the poor person. Um, the next one, you can see there is like a lot of chaos and black, but there is a start, like a little center point, a white point there. No? And here, chaos, you know, and a heart coming out of it. It's a representation of the process as well. Prayer. So you can see the healing, uh, the flowing, Motives, the dark color, the <coughs> warm colors. School dance, the theme of death appears a lot, appears very often. Another heart. The other day I realized that there is a vagina there, actually, I didn't <laughs> see it. <laughs> this is like the intention, like to put it on the heart and transformation. You can see the, the transformation of states of consciousness. They are beautiful. Huh? Yeah. This is on off. It represents uh, mental content and moments between this mental content, these thoughts, when there is void, when there is silence. Switch, the same. It's seeing how thoughts, observing how thoughts happen. Sometimes they can go one way, sometimes other. And finding, manage to find the void inside of them, in the middle. This is the line of ancestors, very common ayahuasca experience as well being aware of the line of ancestors that are supporting us. I'm going a bit fast, getting into the darkness. Meeting. Light. Structure in the chaos. Friendly flow. 
The snake, can you see the anaconda? <laughs> Colorful ego, it's like having a good... <laughs> <laughs> Feeling old, sometimes we are confronted with old age and mortality. This, can you see a woman here, there is the, the back, the breast, and this is the, the sky. Appreciation, you see the heart and all the different relationships of this person. He's a male in his 50s. This one I love. Taken by power, you can see the... That's a good representation of the ayahuasca onset. <laughs> and the last one of this person, soft, warm, and safe. Okay, last participant. Purge, that's the start. <laughs> This mat has to go. <laughs> you see the heart that is fighting to get out of the mat. Uh, expecting the future. There's a progression. This is connection, yeah? group connection. You can see the, the force of the group. How, you can see how it has changed the energy of the painting. Enjoy your swimming life. You can see the animal uh, and the flow of, of water. Opening the gate of birth, very often in ayahuasca we have perinatal experiences. Aggression from the holiness inside, the star, the heart, the, the struggle sometimes. Friendship, you can see here the person lying and this the spirit of ayahuasca around like crying. This is the wound of the heart and the flow of consciousness going through it. This is another good representation of how the, the learning process unfolds. The lynx and the bull, totemic animals, shamanic animals. The wisdom of the owl, mandala. I love this, it's back bonding. You can see this, like the spirit that goes and, and puts a hand in the back and there is an explosion from the center, from the hara. That's a beautiful one as well from... It's a pity I have many more that we're running out of time. This is silence. It's, it's when, after all this turmoil, you know, after six years, uh, at the end there is, well, there is a silence, and you know, that's it. And stillness. Well, I think that's, that's about it. Yeah, because, ah, well, no, that's the last one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. A beautiful night, it's called. We can say that this is a representation of the work that we do, that it's about opening the heart, and the heart is closed by fears and projections and ideas, and the work ayahuasca helps, helps us to do is opening, opening the heart and live without fear. That's the, the aim, that we can, we can enjoy an existence free of, free of fear, and then creativity can, can happen. So it's a, it's a worth, world worthwhile endeavor not to, to get there. So thank you very much. intention round first, we all present, because usually there are guests, so everybody says their name, they say the process that they have been living, those who are experienced, and they state an intention for the night. They make a reflection on, on their life process, and they, they make a choice about what they want to work on the night. This is not to be mistaken with uh, expectation, no? It's like being open to anything that could happen, but setting an intention, we have seen that it's very helpful. Then the night, it's about, it's a mix. We have received influence from Santo Daime, Carioca, Circles, Shamanism, Peruvian, Equatorian Shamanism, um, Psychonautical, uh, you know, ISD and DMA protocols. So it's a bit uh, um, a mix of all these ways of working. Then basically it's music, music and silence and meditation. 
Then in the morning we do this in ten, this painting, we have one hour for painting. Then we do the, in, the integration round where everybody shares their experience and makes a reflection about what they can do with it in their everyday lives, what they have learned, what they can do differently. And then we have lunch and we enjoy the day. <laughs>